In the previous tutorial, we saw how to create a night sky. Today, we will learn how to quickly fill the sky with some beautiful stars, like what we see here. And we will make everything through procedural nodes, so that you can customize it anytime. So let us start with our base file. Here, we have added a simple hut and some trees. In the first step, we will create a night sky using a built-in add-on. And then we'll add numerous stars in that sky. You don't need to download anything separately, just open preferences from here. Then switch over to the add-ons tab, and here, type the word dynamic. So we will get the dynamic sky add-on in this list, we need to enable this, and close this window. Now click on this little arrow button, or press N on your keyboard to bring this side panel. You'll get a new tab called create. You need to go there, and then click on this button called create. It will automatically switch over to cycles, so go to the render properties and change it back to EV. Then go to this world tab. And from this drop-down, we have to select the dynamic world, created by the add-on. In the create tab, we can see the settings for this. We have discussed these in details in another tutorial, the link is given in the video description. So let us directly get into the action, we will change the sky color to a dark shade of blue. We need to lower this value to 0 0.05. This will give us a deep blue color. And we will use the same color, also for the horizon. And the same goes for the cloud color as well. Or maybe for the cloud, we can slightly increase the brightness to 0.1. Now, we can see a lot of natural light or sunlight visible in this scene. So, let us reduce the sun value to say 0.5. And we need to also disable any other light object that may be present in the scene. This will give us a realistic night environment, but we have also used an indirect light. This is to light up some of these surrounding objects, and we have an irradiance volume as well. Since we are in EV, we need to bake this indirect light, otherwise it won't show up here. In the render properties, we can first disable the ambient occlusion, in order to remove any undesired light. Then we will scroll down, and start baking the indirect light. It can take some time, once this is done, we can hide the irradiance volume, and hide the indirect light as well. So we get a beautiful scene, with a perfect night sky, now we will add some procedural stars, through the shader editor. Let us open the shader editor here. We need to select the world option from this dropdown, and we'll get this complete node tree, created by the add-on. We need to focus into a particular area of this entire node tree. We can see a screen node here. And before this screen node, we have a mix node, this is the node which combines the sky color and the horizon color. We need to manipulate this, in order to create the stars. So go to the add menu, and under the color group, add a mix RGB node, and place it after the multiply node. Then for the second color, again go to the add menu, and from the input group, add a node called RGB. This node will give us the color of the stars, so let us increase the brightness, and we will select some light blue color for our stars. Then connect it to the second color input. And for this mix factor, we need to add few more nodes here. We have added the nodes beforehand in another place, we'll just copy paste the node setup from there. So this is the node tree for the stars. You can take up our membership through the join button, and directly get this blend file for your use. We have used two Voronoi texture nodes. Then we have two map range nodes with slightly different settings, then we have combined the two textures, and passed it to a multiply node. You can customize these settings as you need. Please feel free to experiment with these values to get some variations in the output. Now, we can simply copy-paste these nodes to the other place. Or, a better option would be to create a node group from here. This will add a group input and a group output node. And we need to connect this output to the group output. Then we go one level up. Here, we can rename the node group, let us give it a meaningful name like star factor. Now, we can switch back to the dynamic world. We need to use the star factor node group, for this FAC input. So we'll go to the add menu. Now under this group menu, we can see the node group called star factor that we have just created. Let's add that node here, then connect it to this FAC input. Now we can go back to the 3D viewport. You'll immediately see how the sky is now filled with numerous stars, some are faint and some are bright. So we discovered an easy technique to create a starred sky in Blender. It looks quite good, and if you pan your camera, the sky will automatically get updated to reflect stars in every direction. 
But there is a problem here, the clouds are too bright in this scene. We usually don't see much cloud when the sky is full of stars. So you can reduce the amount of cloud through the add-on settings or change it to a dark color to get the same effect as we saw in the demo. But there is a better way. Let us change it to more white and we can also increase its brightness further, like this. Now the problem is even bigger. You do not want the stars to be visible through the clouds, so only this clear blue part should have the stars attached. We can do that through some more node adjustments in the shader editor. We need to add a new mix node before this screen node. So duplicate this mix node and place it just between these two. And for its second color, we need to bring the output of the multiply node. Now for this FAC input, we will use this node, we'll connect its output to this. But we need to multiply this with a suitable factor to have any meaningful effect, so let's add a math node here. We will then change this to multiply type and we have to use a high value, like 500. Finally, we can go back to 3D viewport. Now we can see that the stars are visible only in the blue part of the sky, and there is no star behind the clouds. So this way, you can easily create a night sky full of beautiful stars. And you can also customize it anytime, since we created it through procedural shaders. That's all we wanted to discuss today. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.